Welcome to Minister Ben Willis Blast Off Podcast. Uncut, unapologetic, straight with no chaser. Please like and subscribe. Leave comments. Leave comments, man. I have today, um, we did a show previously about dating outside your religion. Mm, that was tough. And that was I, tough. I have, um, he's doing a round two on this show. He was very polarizing. Shout out to he said two. some things that uh, a lot of people didn't like. They didn't like what you said. You caused controversy. And, and a, a lot of controversy going on here. And I said, well, we got to, you know. Hey, switch seats to me, Emma. On. Switch seats. Yeah, yeah. We got <laughs> gotta bring, to gotta bring you back on. I'm in bringing some heat. And we want to, uh, I got questions that people had written to me. And they want to know about. Shout out to Brother Cliff. You know, man. Brother Cliff. Oh, man. 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 You got to start a pot. That's the only way to stew get it. <laughs> yeah. So, Brother Cliff, uh, give your introduction. Real so. quick, you know, Clifton Raheem Bradley. Um, you know, I'm a podcast, uh, do a television show called the Underground Railroad. Yes, we sir. come on every Saturday night at 1030. And as Minister Ben said, I'm going to give a cheap plug. Yeah, Go to was. my YouTube page. <laughs> <laughs> just put in Bradley C79 at YouTube and thank you for extending the invitation and uh, the good not... things that I'm going to say come from a lot of bad things are going to come from myself. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to test that today. <laughs> I say a lot of bad we're things there. <laughs> Brother Cliff, you're a Muslim. Yes. What made you decide to become a Muslim? That what made me, you know, what was in, heav heavily influenced by my mother and father. They used to listen to Malcolm X tapes mm -hmm. in the Million Man March. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Nation of Islam Minister was the catalyst to bringing, bringing me to Islam. What was, what was the point of, I mean, what was it about your mom and dad looking at Malcolm and, and then <clears throat> the Nation of Islam, Louis Farrakhan, Minister Louis Farrakhan and the Million Man March. What was that that inspired you to that you say I want to do that? Well, by them listening to me, and it was unbeknown to me, they were listening to to um, audios, okay, mm -hmm. cassette players, exactly. They of uh, Malcolm X. So therefore, I didn't know that this, this these messages that Mal Brother Malcolm was putting out to disseminate information that was going to my subconscious mind exactly. on be knowing to me at that age mm -hmm. okay and um so this was always in the back of my subconscious mind once my parents kept on playing it over and over they love Mel. but right. he was but he wasn't talking about religion he was talking about um, right civil rights Mm -hmm. I agree. that's what he was talking but about. he was with the nation of islam yeah so did that because where he was the religion that he practiced that is what inspired you to become a Muslim? The religion that he practiced opposed to what he was talking about. I would say yes, yes, it was it did. Mm -hmm. It had an uh, influence, but the Million Man March yeah. had a bigger impact, a bigger, a much larger impact because I thought the Million Man March, I thought it was a wonderful thing mm -hmm. that yeah. um, the minister was inspired to do. And um, I thought it was great, brother. I just thought it could have been used. They could have wanted a whole lot further by probably getting a voting block. And the powers to be could have been put on notice that we're voting not as individuals, but as a power base. And they could have demanded, could have okay. demanded things that they wanted for the community and for the United States of America. That's why I felt it fell short at. Mm-hmm. But it was good. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the march. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> What's the main objective mm -hmm. of your belief? I feel like that's a very open, broad question, but like, what's the main objective of like, you know, why you practice Muslim and what does it, I, I what practice, do you obtain from it every I, day? I, what, why do I practice Islam is because I don't want to go to the hell fights. Okay. <laughs> Good okay. answer. I don't want to go to hit to the hell fires and the big greatest legacy that I can leave behind is by propagating Islam and somebody comes to Islam because of something that I said or something that I did. That's the greatest legacy that I can leave behind because by them embracing Islam, 
It's a merit system. I get a good deed on the scale. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So therefore, that may be the very thing to um, where I can evade, I to avoid the hell fighters by getting the mercy of Allah by get do all of the good deeds that I can. By no means am I perfect. So you're trying to get uh, um, um, get as many deeds as you possibly can while you're here on Earth. Half a night and, do, and doing and doing the right thing and um, so now. How would you, I mean, because I got some backlash and it came from a lot of women mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they stated that I wouldn't want to be, I wouldn't want to be part of that. Not the way that he was acting. She said, they say, because he was acting like a tyrant, like women don't have rights, like women are second class citizens. And mm -hmm. then, so that made mm -hmm. them go research and look at the women from the East and how they're done. Mm -hmm. And then, and then had some other women say, that they even look at the men from the East because the idea and the example of Muslims, they see the Easterner with the beard and in those ghetto grocery stores mm -hmm. and how they treat the women. Okay. Yes. And so now as you a black man, you yeah. a black man, mm -hmm. how, would you, how would you align yourself as a Muslim and they're like that and they do the same thing to the women of your color and you okay with that? Why don't you close this, close their stores down? If okay. Islam is so beautiful and everything else, they're ghetto stores right now that they're having sex with young black girls in the ghetto. Mm -hmm. And if you ever go in those ghetto grocery stores, them them, them mm -hmm. Eastern grocery stores that's Muslims, you never see they 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 wives. You uh -huh. never see their daughters working them stores. Mm -hmm. Never. And they have lottery you, that. that Betting and, and all that kind of stuff is against Islam. They got lottery tickets in there. Yeah, the Muslims don't eat pork either. They got salt pork in the in, in the cooler, three pounds for one dollar. <laughs> so so so, what do you do about that? Not America. What do you do about Islam here in America? That that that's like that. And why do the black Muslims? A lot that to happen. That I would say because they're not, you know what, if you're put in a leadership position. Now you don't need no leader. I'm saying I'm talking about within a imam is nah, a, ain't he, no leader. Ain't no leader in Islam but God. Me, ain't no leader in Islam but God. I'm say it again. All okay. right. Okay. I'm gonna say it again. I'm my, gonna hold you accountable. My my imam and yeah. my Shadia Fatir in Chicago, mm -hmm. that is my spiritual leader. He has more knowledge than me. See, see and I would say they are imams that are not stepping forward. So what to, you doing? What are you gonna do? I'm a blast it. It's talk. All I'm doing is talking. I'm just talking. But why ain't nobody doing any talk? It's only one imam I know that's doing something. Well, and, and, that's, that's, and, that's, and, that's, and how long has Islam been in America? Years. Uh, years man, no. Years. Years. Long years, time. Years, years. Over years. 90 something years. Years. So and, that's, and that's it. So how will we get these people, these certain people, these leaders to do something about what's going on? Who is sound a leader? In I, Islam, there is no leader. God is the leader in Islam. The only leader is God in, in Islam. Okay. So then now, now your responsibility, because I'm talking about people that, that are non-Muslim that ask the question. Right. Yeah. And so now the thing is, is how are you going to do it? Yeah. I disagree with, you know what? I disagree with you, what you're saying. There's no leaders in Islam. If, if, the, if, you, if you're a preacher, your minister would be the leader of that community. Okay. If you're an imam, which is equivalent to a preacher, you would be the leader within that congregation. Okay. So I respectfully, I, yeah. dis I disagree with that. Yeah, and, and, and man, the, 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 <laughs> the tenets of Islam has no Godhead. It has no, it has no Godhead. Mm -hmm. The only leader is, is God. I have a That's question That's the only one. Well, you, you mentioned that you had, um, he's kind of like your mentor, essentially, right? You're someone who knows more than you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my imam yeah, knows. Yeah, my uh, minister, um, imam Omar knows way more than me, and you know. And what, what, it, in what regards, though? Like, what about does what does he know that is more than what you've learned up until this point? Like, because it's, I mean, I, is he still giving you new books? Are there textbooks that are updated? Like, no, I'm just cu curious. He has, been to, he has been to Saudi Arabia and went to one of the schools where. People develop to get more, cultivate more knowledge. Okay. 
of them years extensive knowledge about the Quran and the Sunnah and the Hadith. And I don't have the ability to speak Arabic. I write it at this particular time. So I look at him as being, well, we could say leader, our brother. Okay. And he leads the congregation. And every Friday, we meet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's very important. Friday is like Sunday to a Christian. Right. Okay. And he is, he's the leader of our mosque. And that means he's maintaining in the place of worship, making sure that the bills are paid on time, making sure with the other now, was leadership. He, what he's we, teaching you, though, what he's teaching you, though, does it. He's <clears throat> teaching me about Islam. But does it have to do with American, African-American culture? Like, does he teach you strictly what they taught him from Saudi Arabia? No, he, no, he brings in African-American he, culture. If, right. He does, he does it. infuse it, this, but, that's yeah. not, that's, but that's not the focus. But he does bring that in. That's mm. not ignored. Because yep. he, has, he, has, he has talked about institutionalized mm. racism mm. That, it, that exists in the society and culture. Mm. But the main focus is Islam. And the thing is, though, that uh, it says in the Quran, it says that uh, God says in the Quran, I made you out of different colors, tribes, and hues to get along with each other, not to despise one another. What that and the meaning of that is, I made you out of different races of people mm -hmm. for your own kind. Tribes as well. That is the, that is the human family. The animal family is giraffes, elephants, hippopotamus. They have their own tribes that they that they deal with each other. Mm -hmm. But when you go when you say when you tell me somebody he went to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is one of the corrupt countries in America. I mean, in America, in the world. Right. So they, they got drugs over there. They got Vibes. prostitution over there. Yeah. They got a dad, a dog on his mom that was a homosexual over there. Now, hold on, brother. So when I get a guy that goes over there and corruption is done here in the United States of America, but in the black community, that's what I'm talking about right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. because, because these are questions that are asked to me about Islam and trying to know about it and try to learn about it. No, and this, again, ain't no leader in Islam. I get There's it. only one. There's only one leader, and that's that's Almighty God is the is the leader. So you feel like you can't be a leader. So you personally, you feel like you can't be a leader to push that notion of God. You can't you you can't be a leader. That doesn't make you a leader. Don't to make you a leader. Don't make you a leader in Islam. No, no. Sure. you can you know you you okay as as a pastor. If you are a a a imam or a, a mullah or a sheikh. You're just you you in the, uh, in the you know you 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 you're the uh, most knowledgeable in the community. Okay. In in your community, you're the most knowledgeable. You know, and and that's it. You're most knowledgeable. Can you read Quran? Can you uh, just like a bishop or a preacher or a pastor mm -hmm. that knows that's very versed on Bible, and a rabbi more versed on Torah. Mm -hmm. But that don't. What does that mean, though? Like you were saying, what does that mean if you know that? How does that get you to affect and move just your community? So if you right. if you ain't moving your community, how would you get somebody to follow you? I get That's what, what I'm saying. talking about. That's that was you know the things I'm talking what, about now is what was asked me to bring. You well, know. Well, what I'm saying is, if you have more knowledge and it has been decided amongst your peers for you to give the preacher to give the kuba, you are in a leadership position. Mm -hmm. You're not a follower because the people within that congregation or that Islamic majid is, has enough confidence in you to know that you're going to try to do everything. That person is competent enough to lead them in the right direction. So therefore, they are a leader because they're leading the flock. And I don't, I don't mean to say that in no, you know, that's something a Christian would say. They're, I'm just putting it in that term. They're leading the flock. And therefore, I would classify them as being leaders I mean, in the community. If they're leading, if they're the head, if it has been determined by the congregation that this person is competent enough to do that, I would perceive that as a leader, not a follower. Can I mean, <laughs> question for you, my friend, and, and I appreciate that explanation. Mm -hmm. What are y'all views on females, women? Like, what if if you're teach if you're learning something from Saudi Arabia and we know how they treat their women out there, they bringing it here. 
they send them teachings. Are you teach? Are you treating women in this country the same way that they've taught that in well, that country? Well, subhanAllah to Allah, you know what? What the again? The imam or the preacher is doing everything that he can to be in compliance with what the Quran says. Okay. So you treat you treat the one women justly, kind, good. It's a time to be. You raise your voice, sometimes you lower your voice, sometimes you're in the middle. You have to know how to manage your wife, not your girlfriend. So I'm saying he's going by the Quran, or he should be going hmm. by the Quran, not because some Islamic brother is give, doing an injustice to a sister, should that be applied, because there's nothing in the Quran that, that would say that that would be justifiable behavior. But what did they see, oh, what, what did they see by the Easterners, uh, how they treat the women over there? You know, they used to, they, it used to be that the, uh, the, the, the male used to, if he had a, a female child, he would bury it in the sand. Those were because he, he wanted. He wanted. He wanted. That's deep. He want. He, you know. He wanted a man. You know. He wanted that. And the women still walk three steps back behind the behind the man over there in the east. Still do that right now to this day. I don't day. see nothing that's, wrong. I don't see You know why I don't see anything wrong with that? And, and so you're, a, you're it's, protecting. No, 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 but but see, you don't women. Want to... But but these are the questions that women oh, are asking okay. because this is dictatorship as far as this. And and the thing is is that. You have a woman step two steps behind you. But that's your girl? I feel like let that's me, your pray. woman. Let me yeah. say that's something. your wife. I feel like she's behind me three steps behind. Let me say it's something to, to everybody in the listening audience. Shout out to the listeners. In a Judeo-Christian society, the man walks on a on a right hand side. I, I think it's the left hand side to protect. No, it's not, that's not. That is not even. The, no, what, I'm just. What is supposed to I'm, be? No. No, I'm using an example. Yeah, but I'm gonna most you, I'm, men I'm gonna when they're walking with the woman, they're walking on the outside. The outside. And and it, 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 that, that the started. Woman. That started during the 1800s it's true. when there was garbage. They used to throw garbage on the street, and they would walk okay. toward the curb so the woman, the the, sense, uh, the the smell of garbage. Will not affect her. That's where that came from. Well, it wasn't that. came from protecting. They okay, so just, just do the research and check it out. Okay. They All right. Come so on. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. say I'm gonna say <laughs> me. me That's why yeah. I walk on the right hand side to protect my wife in case danger comes. Right. So you walk okay. on the right side and three feet three feet in front of her. No, we we walk together. Oh. But the thing so is, I see I see nothing wrong. If an individual chooses it because he's doing everything to protect his wife. How is this heresy? How is this evil if, if what's in that individual's mind is to protect wait, but wait. their wife? How is that evil? I forgot about my wife if she behind me. Is she yeah. behind you? She, you know, she can really get if taken you, off there. If, if you love her, have you forgotten? You if, if, walk if you genuinely, let me ask you a question. If I love if you her, genuinely, she won't. If you genuinely love her, yes. have you forgotten about her? I know that she won't be behind me. Okay, right. okay, but if you're gonna walk on, but there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying there's it's anything not, wrong, not, but you're I would just say saying. it's not. It's not evil, and it's a. It's not an irreprehensible behavior pattern. It's not something that's going to take somebody to hell. I feel like okay. I see what you're saying. It's it's it's, it's not the biggest of deals when your girl is behind you. Y'all walk and she just drifts behind yeah. you. Whatever. Yeah. What about the more serious things? Where like you you just said. You telling a woman how she should talk to you and control her dialect, this, that, and the third. Nobody's like, controlling anyone. She's you saying if she's a pious woman, meaning fear and Allah, she's trying to be conformed to what the Quran says. Nobody's okay. making her put an ejab on her head. She's doing that because she's attempting to live by the laws and the principles that an Islamic woman live she's not a christian so therefore she's not those rules of a christian are not applicable to her okay there's nothing wrong i with got a that. question i got a question so <laughs> if she's walking like three steps <laughs> behind you right like how can you really protect her like for real when i walk in front when i walk ahead of my wife i am protecting her i walk out sometimes i walk ahead of my wife and it may be by force of habit Mm -hmm. But you know what? I am protecting. She's my main concern. Right. So, oh. so it'll be three steps all the time, or just no, like I mean that, times. I'm saying that's that's varies, but this is not going to send somebody to the hellfires. What if right. you end up behind your wife? 
Nah, I, I, that doesn't usually yeah, happen crazy. in my case. I'm just wondering, like you're just. But I'm saying is, her. if if your leg starts hurting and you and you end up behind her, yeah, there's there's no harm in that. Okay, if, you, just... if you have arthritis and you fall behind, <laughs> but I'm saying is, me walking ahead of my wife is not gonna subject me or her to the hell fights, and it's not being, um. Obtrusive or being terrible or a uh, uh, grievous thing. It's not. What's the evil about that? Yeah. I think some people <laughs> assume that because, like, it's your girl. You should be with your girl. How you just going to let her walk with behind your girl? Her? You're protecting her. You are, you are her vanguard. Yeah. But, but, but <laughs> women that see that would make them feel like they just second rate. When they say, well, why am I walking behind you? You know, why well, I can't, I can't you know, why, 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 why is that? You. That by nature they're not gonna like that, you know. And you got and you got some women over in the east that are Muslim. They they say I can't take it. I'm not. I'm not. I, I, I'm out of this religion. How a woman loves is different than how let, a man loves. Let me let me say, let me say something to all of y'all and the listening audience. Everyone reaches different degree of knowledge yeah. at different appointed times. I mean, I'm not on the level that he's on. He's not on the level that I am. I'm on. You, everybody, everybody has different degrees right. of knowledge. I don't 100%. know if that. I don't know if that makes makes sense. That 100%. makes sense. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. And then you're just not there yet. It's like a brother, brother Abdul Talib. He told me you do not um, put pictures of human beings up on your wall, and I did not understand that. But then I came to a um, understanding. Later on, of why you don't do it. I'm using that as an example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, wow. those, those are, there are different things in in, uh, okay. in the different religions that they have as rituals, but rituals mm -hmm. are not the religion. You know, they, they they do those things. And if you go Bible, you go Torah, you go Quran, you go exactly what it says in there. But when they start doing rituals and things like that, that's other people that made that up. Right. Mm -hmm. And and, and, and it, not, it might not be bad. I understand it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I understand it. If you was a, if you talk, had a room full of women that were not Muslim, and you wanted them to invite them into Islam, how would you go about talking to women and to endear them to, to come invitation. into the faith of Islam? First, first of all, you know what? I don't, I don't believe there would be. I don't believe it'd be good for me to be in front of a whole, I mean, a room just for the room. I feel that it would be, it's better for the sister. My, you're asking me. I feel that it is better for the sister that has knowledge about Islam to address them. Okay. That's that's my personal opinion. Um, you, you know, that not, not, not me. Yeah. No. Okay. Not so me. if you in the room, or if you in the room full of women, you would you would just leave it alone, like you wouldn't bring I, it up enough. I feel that it would be better for a sister that understands Sunnah, Hadith, and Quran to um, come to you. persuade them to come to to come to Islam. Because you know what, I I generally I don't even talk to females like that. Generally, just to kick it with them because it can be misinterpreted. Right. It could be misunderstood. Oh, she could say so, she could say something to her boyfriend to, to make, see if he's jealous. Oh. It's like me coming through a back door of somebody's house. Oh. I don't come through the back door of somebody's house. Out to the mm -hmm. back door. So you know what? I've talked <laughs> I've talked to women, but I'm saying is I try to avoid that. If I'm doing business, mm -hmm. I would prefer to be to deal with somebody the that's interested. because because it could be misinterpreted. Okay. okay. That's understood. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna segue to something else. This is this is good. I, I, one of the things I like what you said was, uh, you said that you just don't know enough. I listened to that. You said I don't know enough to invite someone into Islam. No, I didn't say. But you said a woman. I said that's uh, not uh, my place. That's, that's, mm -hmm. uh, and, and you said you don't say know. That. You don't know enough. Yeah. To be able to do that. And I wanted that to be clear, that 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 that, your, that, 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 that had to be clear. Would your um, your uh, excuse me, the leader that you're saying your your mentor, would he speak to women, and invite yeah, them in? I, I imagine, but that that I imagine that he would. But she is as though I don't know the protocol. I know that there is protocol means the steps. Exactly. I know that there are women that I would then that area. 
that can invite him to Islam. But I know that the Imam or the preacher, as some say, he gives Imam. him shahada. Shahada means he invites him to Islam by giving him a declaration of faith. But I don't know the protocol. What I'm saying is, okay. as far as me doing it, you would rather. I, 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 prefer, else do I it. prefer not to, and I prefer not to even really. I don't like. I don't Get even shake today. hands. I don't even shake hands with women mm. because you know what? It can be something about the feel of her hand. It could be something about her smell that might put something in my subconscious mind. Mm. So I don't even shake hands. I and if I do it, if I do it, I would do it with a family member. Right. But you know what? But I make every attempt not even to communicate with unless I have to. Would that make you like almost Damn, that's like a strong anti social? Uh -huh. is, is, yeah. would, would that make you anti social? Like you don't even interact with, with women as you would. I like say this? I make an attempt not to because okay. again, something could be misinterpreted. And you know what? I don't want to put myself in a situation like that. That's something I'm talking about under normal circumstances. I'm not talking about what I'm talking about conducting business okay. Mm -hmm. okay i don't do that I, I generally don't even hug the sisters because you know what that's for a husband yeah mm -hmm. and, not and, a, i'm not a husband and, and so and what i what i want <clears throat> people to understand too and um uh, that uh this brother is staunch in his in his faith yeah is that the exact religion i mean what he's his, his, the foundations of what he's talking about yes what he does is to stay on point with himself. Important. Can a brother hug a, a can a brother hug a woman? Yes. Yeah. I have. Right. I have. I have. And I'm not, a, I'm a, and, listen, and not listen, have listen, emotional listen, attachments listen, listen, and not be. Listen. I'm a Muslim. Mm -hmm. This emblem I have around my neck says Allah. Mm -hmm. It says God in the Arabic letters. It says Allah. Shout out to God. When he talks about the Imam, I'm an Imam. I'm an imam. Shout out, shout out to I don't go around wearing it because it's just what I believe in. How I, I, you know, and 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 that's how I worship. But what he's doing, this is how he feels, how strong he is. Because let me, I, I'm gonna give you a good example. What, if, what would you like a woman who's just friendly with everybody? I mean, she's laughing with everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, she don't. It don't mean no. It depends she, on how she do she, it, though. She, she just laughing with every guy, every woman, and be all over. All over. That's crazy. Be, would you like your woman to be friendly like that? No. Because you know us as men. If a woman is real friendly, would you be like, and she trying to holler? You know, <laughs> you crack a, a stale joke, she laughing. She crack a, she tapping you, hitting you. You wouldn't yeah, want you much. wouldn't that's you wouldn't want that. You wouldn't want and you know your real. jokes weak. You right, know you right, whack right, and right. she laughing at right, her. Right. <laughs> and so a man would be like, hey, nope. wow, she She digging me. Yeah. That's a weak guy though. He yeah, just going for it. But you know, if, if guys, the women dope. come to on to talk to guys and they talk to them and they're over friendly. Guys think in their mind, like, I got one. No. Oh. Right, <laughs> so, so but you it know. depends though. It depends on how she's doing. Like, like if she friendly with everybody, like she might just have that type of energy. Like she that type of person. But would you want to be that that friendly, over friendly nah, with everybody? Over friendly, because you crazy. know, you you know. It, it somebody was, it, told me that one time. Somebody I was like talking to this woman, mm -hmm. and she's married, mm -hmm. but she's friendly, yeah. hugging and shit like that. Right, and uh, you're not wrong. You gave me the before I found out she was married. I was, you know, saying like, so, so you, you are very nice. Like you right. always hugging me, you know, right. intimately. Like you, like what's going on? Like, do you want to go out sometime? Oh, I'm, I'm not, I'm married. I'm just a very friendly person. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, Is damn, that shit. That? Right. Is something wrong with that? Well, you don't want yes, your woman to be every, every, very that. friendly with everybody. I don't want no woman that's very friendly to every, everybody. This shit, Shout a out group of guys friend. over there. She's just laughing and talking with the guys and all that kind of stuff. Hey, what's, what's happening? You might have to stay with them. Yeah. Just, just <laughs> over with. I mean, I mean, you know, generally under, a sister that understands the dean, I mean, Islam, she's not going to conduct a conversation with you unless it's dealing with business. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's no need to. Well, what does she need to? Well, okay. I don't, what, what if it's like some person, some type of person needs some type of compassion or some type of love? Like this person probably wanted to kill herself the other day, and they just need somebody well, to talk to. Under those circumstances, she may. I'm talking but about. I'm, just saying, I'm period, talking you about. You don't even know though. I'm talking about under normal circumstances. So if I was just say, "Hey, how you doing?" She, she wouldn't speak. You to me see, I feel I'm a lake, and she just say hi. That's the end of it. 
That's the end of it. Because that but, can, but that if, can, what if I ask, Shorty, like, where you going? going? You fine like, yourself. Like, hold on, slow down. Like, real. like nah, seriously, nice. like, if I ask how your day going or continue to, if I ask how your day going or it's something not, like that. It's really no need for you to ask Islamic sister how her day is going. What what what, what, what what's the purpose? What's the underlying state? What are you trying to know, establish? Maybe you're a, <laughs> I don't know, maybe you're a homeless person or something and she just seen you, she gave you some money, and now you concerned, now you wanna, you know, get her blessing back, get a blessing back, get a grace back. What's wrong with that? It's nothing wrong, but I'm okay. saying is that can lead to things that lead to vices as the, as the conversation continues on. Is that not true? So how long? I, I'm, no, I'm how asking you. you. I, I, I feel like I feel like you could be transparent to where it, 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 you can cut off the boundary to where how long, how much. Is everybody going to do that? It, I, I ain't speaking for everybody. People. I mean, I, I, I've seen a Muslim sister, she's you know, working a cash register. It's food for less. And and, and, I, and I and I spoke to her. I mean, I spoke to her. Great grocery I store. Just, right. I, great I speak, grocery I, store. If I, I, I speak, and uh, you know, there, there's no, again, this the brother right here. That's his feelings. Right. That's how that's his feel. feelings. He knows, and when he say the dean, that is just the uh, that is the religion of Islam, but it's his feelings. Okay. So I want people to get misconstrued yeah. that that is the, because it's not. No, it's it, his perspective. Because it, it's this not. But that's his, that's his. That's his. But uh, that's how he feels, and he has the right to feel that way because he don't want to lead nowhere to go. That hell fire. He's really serious about want to go to paradise and not go to hell. Right. Mm -hmm. And I mean, what you see with this brother is real. I mean, he is. He believes he's real on it. I mean, yeah. he's real on it. But you know, I'm always gonna talk about the black community and what mm -hmm. the Muslims that are black. What do they do? Because the United States of America. When they see Muslim, they think of the women with the hijab, hijab and everything Looks else. Good. And and uh, and <laughs> the men are Arabian. Mm -hmm. And that's not the case. That's not the case. In fact, there's more black Muslims in America than there is, you know, Easterns. Mm. So and, and and like I say, Saudi Arabia is not not that great. They're corrupt there. Mm. And then also uh Saudi Arabia, the, the original Arabians from Saudi Arabia. Are blacker than me and you, you know. The, the ones the you sign. see now that work at Seven Eleven and all that, right. they are the result of race mixing. Mm -hmm. In fact, Saudi means black, Black Arabia. Mm. That's what that's what that means. So Learn what I'm saying today. to Learn the you viewing and listening audience and everything else, yeah. you feel free to do the research. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna segue off of this now. I want to talk to you, Mach, you, you tough macho guys with all the testosterone. I got a question. <laughs> Would y'all cry around your woman? Yeah. No. Yeah, I, I have mm -hmm. cried around. I have cried around. I've cried around my wife. And you know what? I mean, if I'm sad, I'm sad. Yeah. My wife. What is, was it? My was wife. It? My wife is my help. Me and she helps me to get through storms mm -hmm. that I might not be able to get through under normal circumstances. But it's a movie, though. You cried over. Oh, it's a movie. Shout out no, to the movies, it was, man. Not, I'm just saying, if it's a movie, would you cry? Would, you, if would I, it be all right? If I felt the sorrow, I would cry and have cry. no shame. No shame. Because right. <laughs> you know what? Because that does not define who, who I am. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't yeah, define yeah. who I am. So it's okay for a man to cry around his woman? I ain't never crying. What if he I don't cry? cry. You ain't never cry. Even if you wanted to, you ain't going to do it. I, have. I don't cry. Huh? I did it before. You did it before? Yeah. Yeah. Does not make you less of a man, right? Yeah, because I cried around. I cried around my girl. You know what I'm saying? Especially when like it's something I important. Yeah, but you talking about like a movie like and a movie stuff, or like a know? Barbie movie. Hey, like, I, I'm probably if it was a Barbie movie. A Barbie movie. You if I had the need to cry, I would cry. Yeah, around a Barbie movie. Yeah, if I if I had the I'm saying if I had That's the nasty there. <laughs> I'm saying if I had <laughs> if I had the internal need to cry. Right. I'm, I mean, I'm talking. And about I'm the, saying that I'm talking about the cry with the snot bubble coming out. <laughs> 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 And the, re the, no. the, re the reason that I can say that is I'm quite comfortable with who I am. Exactly. That's right. That's right. Uh, That's right. That's right. That's I like right. crying. Mm -hmm. I practice right. crying. As right. an actor, we have to practice crying, so I definitely... No, no. Okay, I got no. another question. What food is overrated? I love uh, it. Nah, bro, chill. I love no, it. No, 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 no. Meat is overrated. Corn is okra. overrated. Okra. okra. Brussels sprouts. That's okay. overrated. Eggplant. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's overrated. Food that is not allowed in Zabiha. Okay, explain, explain what that means. Allowed in Zabiha explain what that is means. overrated. Okay. Allowed <laughs> means that you know what is. Um, it's going to be everything. Right. Yeah. No, that's not everything. 
Because well, you because you have allowance of beehive stores. Okay. What well, can I? Well, you can, what can I eat? Is, what yeah. can I eat? It, it means that it's been slaughtered in the name of a lot of meat, and it's been prayed over. Foods that are not allowed in the beehive, they are okay. over, they are over. Rated. Okay, so uh, <laughs> and what and what that means is what that means is is that you have kosher. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And and that's what the Jewish faith. Mm -hmm. And you have what's called halal foods. Mm -hmm. That is an Islamic faith. And what mm -hmm. happens is when you say you got halal meats and kosher is prayed over, and if it's animal meat, they're not slaughtered. They're, they're in other words, they're slaughtered peacefully. In other words, right. opposed to just blessed. hitting them with a, a cattle prod and hitting them in the head with a mallet and then cutting their throat. Oh. They will come behind the cow or the animal they're slaughtering, and they will come behind them and slit their throat where there's no pain. Okay, so a sneak that, attack. Right. That's exactly what you can call it. <laughs> that's what it is because they're relaxed, and the meat that's is crazy. more relaxed. Okay. Be, you know, that's why it tastes a little better. Uh. But if you... If you Kill something in trauma, it's gonna be a little tighter. Yeah. Really? And so that's what that means. You know, that's what that means in that. But my, I, well, well, what about boneless chicken wings? Mm -mm. Is that what it, I mean? What? I'm how do you get the bones out of the chicken wing? Uh, yeah. Okay. It's actually boneless, boneless meat is mushed together like meat part animal pits. Like yeah. they take the rest of the cow, the rest of the pig, the rest of the chicken, they put mm -hmm. it through a blender. And you get your spam, your bologna, and your boneless meats. Yeah, ha ham is overrated. Bacon is overrated. Whoa! Whoa! whoa, whoa. Sausage is overrated. <laughs> Chitlins are overrated. Bacon yeah. is not overrated. Yeah. <laughs> Everything else you said is overrated. Turkey, bacon. Turkey bacon is real good. Bacon turkey, is not turkey, overrated. Is put, some, <laughs> put some bacon on a burger, it's gone. <laughs> Look, put some bacon on a burger, it's gone. I don't eat meat no more. So pig feet relate. is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> look, I ain't got time to look at no pig, pig feet, man. That's different. Y'all ever had? Yeah, man. Is pizza allowed in? in... Yeah. You eat cheese pizza? Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We good, then. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you right. can eat yeah. cheese pizza. Wait, I got, oh, a yes. question, <laughs> I got a real question. Like, if you, if you, do you think any, like, if you believe in any other religion, would you go to the, the hellfire? Do you think Allah is the only way to the paradise? I, I, I believe. Uh, no, go, no, go the Quran. no, no. Go in the you Quran. know what? No, this is what me and him disagree. Go in the Quran. Clashing, had, clashing if, cultures, if, clashing no. religions. If you no. had, if you had knowledge of Islam and you heard about Islam and you reject it, you will go, go to, to the that. hell fire. No. Okay. And the other part is, uh -huh. if other part is, that's too. That's too. Critical. No. Well, what did the Christians say? Okay, so Can I ask you something? What did the Christians yes. say? If no. you don't believe in Jesus, you're going to hell. No, they, they no, don't say no. that. Okay, you don't no. follow Jesus. They don't say that. I know Christians. I know Christians didn't say that. But, 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 but here's, here's the thing in Islam. Yeah, here's the thing in Islam. Here's the thing in Islam. Instigator. The Quran is is the reference book. And you go to the Quran. If there's a difference, you go to the Quran. And if it's in there, then. And in the Quran, it says... If you're Muslim, Christian, Jew, no, I, Arabian, <laughs> Let them cook. magician, Let them if cook. you believe in God and the angels, Let them cook. you will all see your Lord in paradise. That's the Quran. Now, uh, no. it, and it ain't no, and it, and it says in the Quran also, and I'll speak it in the Arabic, which says the Quran is the straight book. On the straight path. That's what that says. And what anybody that, else say? Okay, this is what me and him disagree. Why? Okay. Well, no, I, you know I, what? You know why? You know, you, yeah, no, I'm. Just, you know what? Say when you talk that's about you feel. when you. No, that's that's how how you feel. I'm saying is when you talk about Christians. Christians. Were, that, no, I'm saying it says in the book Jews and Christians. Okay, okay, that's what you're referring to. It's talking about the topic. Christians that do not elevate Jesus no. or Esau to a godlike status. No. That's self-forbidden. No. Shirk, shirk, shirk means 
if I'm elevating and praying to this, that's, that's totally like different. Like this is God. That's totally different. If I'm different. praying to a man and believe this, that's church totally, is unforgivable in totally, Islam. But, but totally different. That's totally different. I'm just using. Wait, 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 no, I'm, I'm just. Like, no, I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not talking about this. Pie. But I'm just. I'm no, no. A mighty bean pie is great. But what I'm saying is, if you elevate something else to a God, cop the Christians are believe. Wait, wait, I elevate okay. Jesus to, to a God but like that. What it says in there, if you believe in God and his angels, whoever you are, yeah. you will be with your Lord in paradise. Shirk is unforgivable. Now, that's tough. Are, and, and, What's that? And, and, yeah, and what saying? What What's that? Unforgivable? It means you, a shirk means you believe and you, you, uh, you, not, you pray to and honor anything but God. Uh -oh. If you live uh, to a God like that. Oh. You know, so the Shirk's, thing is, but the right. thing is, and I will encourage all viewing and listening audience. So believing in to Jesus Google, is no, 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 to, no. To Google, uh, to Google that statement that I made in the Quran, nope. and every Muslim know it anyway. So, and there, there is never a dis when it's a dispute on Muslims, we all go to the Quran, and whatever God says, we leave it, and that's it. And it, there ain't no, uh, there's no debate. No, there's no debate on so it. Let no me ask you a question: it, What was what was written first, the Bible or Quran? Which Bible? The, 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 no, no, which, no, no, which one? No, which one? No, because which, which because one? It's the, like it's, the, the, it's, the it's seven of them. So there's seven different versions of the Bible. Yes. The Quran has one of them. Version. One, one. Okay. So the uh, Quran was before the Bible, I'm assuming. It had to be. If it's, if it's seven different Bibles. Did they pull? No, this was, was, no it's, was it's, the it's Bible. Bible Bibles in that Bible. Seven, seven that I know. Seven okay. that I know of. Was context pulled from the Quran to create the Bible or vice versa? No, they're not They're not the same. No, sir. They're not the same. They're not the same at they're all. They're totally, totally different. No, totally sir. different. The, uh, the Quran, in fact, a lot of professors and mathematicians here the Quran because it talks about math, mathematics and stuff like that in it. In other words, if you want to read the Quran, it should be, you know, you know, it don't read like a book. Yeah. It's like instructions and um segments and it, and you just kind of go it's through plain. It. it. You know, it's plain. And uh, you know, when we get well, we about to about to close. Now I have other questions. <laughs> oh wow, well, yeah. I would love, I would love yeah. to, to, to do that because because we'll save that is, for the next because one. it's simple. It is mm -hmm. it is simple. Don't for no reason look at me or look at this brother as we're going against because we're not. And that it's that's healthy the, conversation. That's, that's, healthy that's conversation. Whatever. I go by what's in the book. I don't I don't care about what anybody else say. And any Muslim know what that book says. And and, and if any imam or whatever that you know, they want to speak to me, he can. I'm not hard to find, mm -hmm. and be, because that is the problem. <laughs> because you, you know, them them brothers go over there, them black brothers, Muslims go over there to Saudi Arabia, and they start talking like this, my brother. And I said, where do you get the hell of that accent <laughs> from? I said, hell, you from Forty Third and Federal? What the hell's wrong with you? But anyway, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Time gotta go. Okay, uh, I, 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 I love you, brother. <laughs> I love you, brother. This show is you know, unapologetic, straight with no chase. Say it again straight one more no time. Chase, All in unison. This show is uncut, uncut unapologetic, unapologetic straight, straight with no, no chaser. chaser. Man, yeah. brother, this is a great show. Yeah, 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 Thank yeah, you, yeah. brother, for coming on. Like I love you, man. Love you, you too, yeah. guys. And we're gonna do this in three more weeks. We gotta. We're gonna be back in three more weeks. We're gonna do it tomorrow. Yes, sir. Come check us out. Yes, sir. We live. We live. But you know what?